Hello, my name is Jason Van Breckel. I'm the director of Community at Rancher Labs. Today we're going to use Rancher 2.3 Preview to stand up a Kubernetes cluster with Kubernetes 114, including Windows servers. Uh, this is done using the new enhanced experimental Windows support uh, that is included with 2.3. So let's add a cluster. Currently only custom workflow is supported for Windows servers. Let's give it a name and select 114. You'll notice experimental there. All that means is that this version of Kubernetes uh, has not been completely run through the paces in both our automated uh, and manual testing to say that it's you know, stamped as stable. Let's select flannel and enable Windows support and select VXLAN. So we have a uh, you know, uh, packet encapsulation uh, to allow the network overlay instead of having the L2 host gateway that was available in the previous version of the Windows Experimental feature. We're going to skip the cloud provider since it's not needed for this demo. So now we have Docker run commands for the Rancher agent that will allow us to start up uh, various uh, Kubernetes node types in both Linux and Windows. So let's go ahead and get this uh, cluster set up. So I'll go ahead and get my worker set up first. Let that run control plane etcd and finally the windows node and you'll notice only workers are supported I will note here, this is a PowerShell command, not a bash command. So this is not using the, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. This is actually Windows Server nodes. Uh, and see, just like in Kubernetes 114, you'll need uh, Windows 1809 or later. So each of these nodes are now downloading their various version of the Rancher agent. Uh, once the Rancher agent comes in, up, it downloads the RKE or Rancher Kubernetes Engine tools, uh, goes and spins up Hypercube containers uh, for the various Kubernetes components, and, and then each node will have the various Kubernetes processes running required for that node. Uh, for example, in this Windows uh, Server node, we'll have Kubelet and Kubeproxy running, as well as uh, Flannel and the various C CNI bits. So we can actually, we'll let this continue to run. Uh, I will fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and watch it. Linux know that it's not ready yet. And we can check each one of the nodes. Control plane, etcd, and worker. And these should all be in various stages of readiness. So we'll continue to fast forward and just let that go. one Windows node. You can see here we're still waiting for the worker and for the Windows node to register with Kubernetes uh, as the etcd and control plane nodes came up first. We can actually check on their status by uh, looking to see what they're up to. And we can see here the Windows node is actually downloading uh, bits required uh, to run Kubernetes in Windows. So we'll, uh, we'll fast forward again just to wait for this to come up and register with Kubernetes. So 
So as, as we can see now, the control plane, SCT and Windows node is up. We're still waiting for the worker node to come up. Uh, we don't need it for this demo, so we'll just let it keep, you know, keep chugging along until the until the uh, CNI plugin initializes. So now we have a cluster, and let's deploy a Windows. Let's deploy a workload that will only work in Windows. So you can see here our target OS. We now have a target OS with Windows node. Let's go ahead and put IIS on here. See here that IS did start up. Looks like a hiccup, hiccup a little bit over uh, the HNS endpoint, but ultimately succeeded. And if we exec into the shell, we can see here we have a Win Microsoft Windows container. And let's see, it should be running I IS. And indeed, and indeed it is under the surface host. So. That that is all it takes to spin up a uh, to spin up a Kubernetes cluster with Windows support. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, by all means, reach us, reach out to us on Slack. If you navigate to slack.rancher.io, you can sign up for a free Slack account and just look for me out there, JVB. That's Julia Pinker Bravo. Again, my name is Jason Van Breckel, and thank you.